Welcome to HLC Metal Parts. Today, we will introduce several commonly used milling cutters. A milling cutter is a multi-edge rotating cutting tool used for machining metal on a milling machine. Milling cutters, by rotating and cutting the surface of the material, can achieve the machining of various complex shapes, such as planes grooves and curved surfaces. They are essential tools in mechanical processing. Look, this little guy is a milling cutter. It mainly consists of three key parts, the shank, the body, and the cutting edge. This is a flat end mill, the most frequently used milling cutter on CNC machines. The cylindrical surface and the end face both have cutting edges. Flat end mills are suitable for most general milling tasks. They are typically used for rough milling, removing large amounts of material, small horizontal surfaces, contouring, and roughing operations. Ball end mills have a cutting edge similar to a ball shape. They are used for machining various curved surfaces and arc grooves. They can also be used for fine milling of curved surfaces. Smaller cutters are capable of fine milling steep surfaces or small chamfers on straight walls. And when you need to machine curved surfaces, a ball nose cutter will be our reliable assistant. The ball nose cutter has a hemispherical end, making it ideal for machining 3D curved surfaces and arcs. This type of tool is especially common in mold making and high precision parts machining. Another highly practical tool is the thread mill. As the name suggests, a thread mill is designed specifically for machining threads. It can efficiently perform internal and external thread milling, offering a faster and more flexible alternative to traditional thread cutting methods. This is a small T-slot cutter, primarily used for machining T-slots. It can cut out the complete T-slot in one pass ensuring the accuracy of both the bottom and side walls of the slot. The cutting head of a T-slot cutter is T-shaped. We typically describe its model based on several aspects. Diameter of the disc and teeth, thickness of the disc, the number of teeth, and the diameter of the shank. Large T-slot cutters can first mill a straight slot on the workpiece surface and then cut a perpendicular cross slot to form a T-shaped structure. They are widely used in mold making and mechanical processing. Look at our pretty milling parts. When selecting milling cutters, it is important to consider the workpiece material, tool material, shape and size of the tool, cutting parameters, the stability of tool clamping, cooling and lubrication methods. At HLC, we have professional engineers. I believe over 20 years of experience in metal manufacturing will be of great assistance to you. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll keep bringing you content related to the metal manufacturing industry.